Hi guys, welcome to episode 29 of my Pleasant View Let's Play. In this episode, we're going to be moving our recent college graduates back into Pleasant View so they can start their new lives as adults. But before we do that, I want to talk about the Skyline and Sky mods that I downloaded. And I want to demonstrate that for you. I, I talked about it in my previous video, but I don't think I had them installed quite right in the college neighborhood. Um, but it was kind of snowy, so you couldn't really tell. I'm going to really show them to you here. Um, you can also see my default replacement trees and how gorgeous they look also my default replacement textures for the grass the grass is now nice and bright and green um, I think it the neighborhood looks much better and now I'm going to zoom all the way out and I also have downloaded a camera mod to allow me to zoom out this far and it comes with a lot of different camera angles that are really nice you can see the skyline in the background and it looks pretty cool, but I want to show you how it looks if we go into camera mode. And we go down to the level of our lots. It is just absolutely gorgeous. So as you see, when you look around, um, you no longer see just that hideous blue, light blue space. And there's the uh, cemetery up there. You, just, you can see these gorgeous green hills. And the name of the skyline that I'm using is Green Hills. And these are very, very easy to install. Like, I thought it was going to be difficult. It was not at all. I don't know how I ever played without this. I've had a Sky Mod in my game before uh, in a previous install, but I've never used the Sky Lines. And they are just beautiful. Especially from your lot. You know, when your Sims are on their home lot, you can see just the hills in the distance. It's gorgeous. And, of course, the sky is beautiful, too. I have a sun up there somewhere, too. So I've updated the mods list on my blog if you're interested in using any of these uh, default replacements or the skies and the skylines. You can go to my mods list on PleasantSims.com and scroll to the neighborhood mod section and everything that I have here is listed there with a link to download it for yourself. And it's, they're very easy, like I said, they're very easy to install. Once you put them in your downloads folder, all the different skies and skylines show up here. And there are several different ones to choose from. I'm using the day sky. And I'm also using, like I said, green hills. But there's uh, forest mountains, rural, sunset valley, desert beach. You get it. And to install them, all you do is go to the very edge of your map and you see this little box that has an arrow on it so you want to go to the corner that that arrow is pointing to put it in the very corner of your map whatever your hood is and place it there and then you'll have your skyline and you do the same thing for the sky that's it that's all there is to it and it's just beautiful I highly recommend it if you want to make your neighborhood uh, more realistic and prettier now that that's out of the way, we are going to move in Alexander, and I've already given him his chunk of the goth fortune. Cassandra was holding on to his money for him until he graduated college, and she has given him 50,000 simoleons, and that's what his father wanted him to have at, after he graduated college. So I've already gone into Cassandra's lot, and she has transmitted the money to him. So he has 50,146 simoleons. He also has, I think he has 11 or 12,000 in his bank account as well. We're going to see what house he can afford. It looks like the best house he can afford is, let's see what it is really quick, is 190 Sims Lane or Sim Lane. He can afford some of these cheaper houses. He can't quite afford these. So we're going to move Alexander into 190 Sim Lane, and it's going to cost him 32,000 simoleons, and he should still have plenty for furniture and stuff. And this is the house that's right across the street from the Pleasants. We're going to be playing Alexander for one day before Lucy is going to move in with him to get their ages in sync, and then we will have to play them for an additional four days before we move Bo in to get everybody's ages in sync. I love this house. It is so cute on the outside. The inside is, if I remember correctly, the upstairs is a little strange. Let's have a look at it. Nice kitchen, nice big family room and bathroom downstairs. 
Upstairs, yeah, we've got two bedrooms upstairs. Um, they're both pretty big. I know I had an issue when I was trying to furnish this, and it's been a while since I've played in this house, and I don't remember what it is. But Alexander has 17,000 simoleons left. I'm going to use that money to f give him at least some basic furnishings in this house, and I'll be right back as soon as I finish that. I'm all done with Alexander's house, and here he is posing outside of it um, for a screenshot. I guess I better delete this pose box or have to have him stop posing first. And we will go inside and take a little tour. I really like the way this house turned out. I used a lot of my custom furniture. Um, I'll start here in this little bathroom. There was a huge window right here <laughs> where anybody could just watch you on the toilet. So I put a little bit of a smaller window. I didn't really do too much else. I put a curtain and a mirror in there. In the dining room, I used this lovely uh, dining set that's blue. Andrew likes Andrew? Alexander, I mean. I don't know why I called him Andrew. Alexander likes the color blue, so I did most of the house in blue. Um, and there's this nice little sideboard here. I put up some cabinets on the top of his kitchen and gave him a nice chandelier. The living room, I really like how it turned out. Um, we have a nice living set, TV, and I had to put a desk in over here and some bookshelves in the back. There's still room for more stuff in there, more decoration and things, but I ran out of money. I spent all of his money except for 94 simoleons besides what he has in his bank account, but we're not going to tap that right now. The upstairs, I left this room empty uh, because it's probably going to be used for a nursery after Lucy moves in. And I just gave him a nice little bedroom. Uh, this is his closet, wardrobe, bed, nightstand, chair, a couple paintings, and some curtains. I put a curtain on this bathroom. The bathroom will have to be remodeled eventually. But he's a fortune sim, so he's going to want to buy plenty of stuff. And we'll fill in the rest of the house as we go. But this should be enough to get him started. I really think it looks nice. Okay, let's take a look at what Alexander wants to do. He wants to get a job in many different areas, none of which relate to his biology degree. He wants to get a job in the criminal career, adventurer, architecture, and law. So I don't really care which one of these he gets. It's up to him. We'll have him go and... Oops, no, I don't want to cheat. I want him to find a job, and we'll check and see what's in the paper. And if any of these jobs are in the paper, he will take that job. Or the first one that appears, I guess. And then we will uh, change his lifetime one. Okay, education, no. Architecture, yes. Alexander is going to take a job in the architecture career, even though he got his degree in biology. And he's going to be an architect. I think that kind of suits him, though. And now he wants to buy all kinds of crap, of course. But we're, we don't have enough money to buy anything until he gets some paychecks. His lifetime want currently is to become a criminal mastermind. So that was just the randomized lifetime want that was assigned to him. We're going to change it to become the best in the architecture career. Okay, I lied. Um, become the best in the architecture career doesn't show up under the fortune sim wants. Instead, he, his lifetime want is going to be to earn $100,000. Uh, I don't know if he'll be able to pull it off or not. He has 42 days until he becomes an elder, so he, he definitely has the time to do it. I'm not sure he'll get there on the salary of a bricklayer, though, so let's hope he gets some promotions. He has quite a few skills, and he has everything he needs to get promoted, at least to level 2. Because he didn't choose a job related to his degree at all he has to start at level one so for the story's sake I'm gonna say he majored in biology but he didn't really care for it and that's why he didn't do so great in school he just didn't really he thought he was gonna like it but he didn't re end up really liking it so he decided to do something else with his life when he got out and he thought architecture looked kind of interesting and there was a job available so he took it and we'll see how far he's gonna go Alexander just got home from his first day of work, and he was already promoted to foreman. I guess they were really impressed with his fancy education at the bricklayer's job, so he got promoted to foreman. 
Uh, he now works 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. He brought home 227 simoleons with a bonus of 454. And it says, finally in charge of more than just yourself, you've made foreman of the construction team. Your initiative has been noticed. Now put a little logic behind that mechanical knowledge of yours and someone might actually make you an architect. So he's got all the skills once again to get promoted again, and he's got all the friends, so he should just move up the ladder. All right, it's 6 p.m. Alexander is now 22. And I just realized I was wrong. We're going to move Lucy in tomorrow on Tuesday after Alexander turns 23 because she is already 22 because she had to stay an extra year in college. Oh, he's in the bathtub. And they're a year apart. So once he turns 23, then we can move Lucy in. It's the next morning, and Alexander is getting up to get ready for his first day as a foreman in the architecture career. And I realized that I have not summoned his dormy friends over and aged them up to become townies. I'm going to look at his relationship panel, and I believe the person that he has the highest relationship from from college is Rufus Greer. And this is the guy that he hustled in pool <laughs> right before he left. I'm going to summon him over and we're going to make him into a townie to get rid of another dormie out of the college neighborhood and bring them into Pleasant View. Um, and I would like to thank my subscriber Lizzie for pointing out to me that I can use the Sim Blender to do this. I was doing this l big long roundabout way of turning the dormies into townies and it was right here all along under the family menu. You can just click make me a townie. It's like so easy. <laughs> So, thank you, Lizzie, for pointing that out to me. I'm going to use the Sim Blender now exclusively to do this. So, I'm going to summon him over, first of all. Okay, Rufus Greer is here. And now we're just going to... I guess I need to make him selectable, and then I can click Make Me a Townie. Uh, make selectable Rufus Greer. I hope I'm doing this right. Oh, look at his relationships. He only knows Alexander and, like, one other dude. Um, and let's go to, oops, let's go to family. No, family. Okay, I can't turn him into a townie now. Why not? Why is it not there? Is it because I, no, I had to have make, made him selectable. I can still make Alexander a townie. Okay, I figured it out. I had to actually move him in in order to be able to make him a townie. I couldn't just make him selectable. I had to move him in, and I just did that through the family menu, and then now I'm going to click make me a townie, and that should work. Okay, he's a townie now. I don't know if he's automatically going to age up, so I'm going to make him selectable again and check. But we're going to age him up, and then I might have to make him a townie again. I'm not sure. This is I'm all over the place here because this is my first time doing it with the Sim Blender. So let's age him. Oops, age him up to an adult. Come on, Rufus. Oh wow, he didn't even like spin or anything. He just changed into an adult. He looks nice though. He's pretty good looking Sim. And he's a romance sim, too. So he'll be nice to add to the townie pool. Now, let's see. Let's make him unselectable. Or let's move him in again, and then I'll make him a townie again. Just to make sure it works. So in the future, I guess I will age them up first, then move them in, then make them a townie. That should be the order that I think I do it in, and it should work fine. Awesome. That's so much easier. Jeez. Thank you so much for telling me about that. That was just right in front of my face the whole time. All right. He's a townie. Oh, he got the, he aged up well, I guess. And he's just hanging out in our house. That's fine, I guess. Maybe he'll leave in a little while. Alexander's going to keep getting ready for work. And then after he gets home and it turns, let's see, what time does he get home? Uh, he gets home at 3 p.m., and Lucy will be able to move in after 6 p.m. And we got a chance card for Alexander while he was at work today. Um, he receives an emergency road work request, blah, blah, blah. When he gets to the site, he surveys the damage and draws up a repair plan in his head. He can either call in heavy machinery to help do the work or have all his workers there and you ha 
or have all his workers there and use hand tools, what should he do? Um, let's call in the heavy machinery, I guess. I don't know. Oh no, he got his pay cut for the day. That totally sucks because his bills just came in. Well, I guess that chance card didn't hurt him too much because he just got promoted again. He has now been promoted to head of the construction company. Wow, he is really climbing the ranks here. He's mastered cement, bricks, and various steel bars, led small teams into construction emergencies and made them work, and now he's got the ultimate high-level view of, build of building buildings as the head of the construction company. Um, he works 10 to 5. Those are pretty good hours. And he brought home 332 simoleons and got a bonus of 664. Good for you, Alexander. And now he has plenty of money to pay his bills and like buy whatever stuff he wants to buy. Oh, and I guess he earned 6,000 simoleons because now he wants to earn 7,000. I'm going to lock that in for him. He also wants to make a friend. We can probably work on that. First of all, I want him to pay his bills and deposit some more money. We want to keep investing. He's a fortune sim, so I, I always have my fortune sims invest. And that reminds me, I don't think I've given him his... I haven't given him his any of his aspiration benefits. I always forget to do that. I need to make myself like a checklist or something to do that. Okay, it's Tuesday at 6 p.m. Alexander is now 23 years old, and that means it's time for us to move Lucy in. Oh, he just rolled the want to make a friend, so I had him talk to his sister, Cassandra, because he was really close to being friends with her. And now he is friends with her. Now he wants to make another friend. And he needs another friend to get a promotion. That's what I figured. So we'll work on that for him. But first of all, I'm going to save and we're going to go out into the neighborhood screen and move Lucy in with him. I'm back out on the neighborhood screen and it has turned into fall. And look how beautiful these default replacement trees are. They look so pretty. I'm so glad I got those. Okay. Here is Miss Lucy. She has 475 simoleons, um, but she has, I think she has about 3,000 in her bank account, which I'll have her withdraw and add to Alexander's savings once she, once they get married. Okay, we're back on the lot, and here is Lucy. I want to take a look at her lifetime want. I'm going to unlock that. Her lifetime want is to graduate three children from college. I think that's a great lifetime want for her, so we're just going to let her keep that. Let's see if she rolls any wants to get a job. She wants to have a baby. <laughs> she wants to get a job in the oceanography career. Um, okay. We will try to let her get a job in the oceanography career, and she wants to have a baby. So, I have downloaded a mod to shorten pregnancy, and I talked about doing this in my videos, uh, I don't know, a long time ago. It might have even been season one when I talked about it, because it doesn't make sense to me that my sims are pregnant for three years because of my how my aging system works with one day being one year. My original plan was to go into SimPE and try to figure out how to change the pregnancy length, but I would like to thank my subscriber Morkva, I hope I'm saying that right, um, thank you because she told me about a mod that was on Mod The Sims that shortens pregnancy length, so each trimester is 8 hours, and I think that works really well with my aging system. Wow, um, Alexander's naked on the couch, I just realized that. <laughs> So, if Alexander and Lucy try for baby, we could probably have a baby born um, because I'm going to be playing them all the way till Friday to get their ages in sync with Bo. So, we might actually have a baby this time. I can't believe it. But let's see what they're going to do. They're going to casual sit. She just moved in with Alexander and walked in to find him naked on the couch. And she's like, you know what? I'll get naked with you too. <laughs> let's just get naked on the couch together. No, hi, honey. How was college? Did you have a safe trip? Just let's just get naked on the couch. They're gonna peck. I found that normally they woohoo after a couple of interactions once they do this. Oh, 
Oh, there they go. They're gonna woohoo on the couch. You guys have a bed upstairs. <laughs> but I'm gonna have them try for baby. Since she wants to try for baby. As soon as they finish with this. Well, it was 2 in the morning and Lucy couldn't sleep. She got up to go downstairs and check for jobs on the computer and there was an opening in the oceanography career track as a fish chummer. Uh, she works 4 a.m. to 11 a.m., which are terrible hours. Um, she would make 148 simoleons a day. I'm going to have her take the job and she might decide to quit her job after... Oh, she's going to have to go to work in like 40 minutes. She might decide to quit her job after the baby's born. We'll just have to see how that works for her. Lucy just got home from her first day of work as a fish chummer, and she has been promoted to dolphin tank cleaner. Now she works 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., which are much better hours. Um, she brought home 172 simoleons with a bonus of 344. She still hasn't shown any signs of pregnancy, so I'm not sure she actually got pregnant. We might have to have them try again tonight when Alexander gets home from work. She was very proud of her promotion. <laughs> Alexander's home from work. He reached his goal of making or earning 7,000 simoleons. Now he wants to earn 8,000. I'm going to lock that for him. These are very easy wants to fulfill for him and he wants to make a friend he needs two more friends in order to get promoted he has all the skills he needs and his bar is maxed out but he still needs two friends I think this would be a good time for them to have a little dinner party and invite some people over so he can make some friends I'm gonna Lucy was taking a nap on the couch because she was really tired I'm gonna wake her up um, she did not get pregnant I don't think They're going to try again tonight after the dinner party. I'm going to have Alexander go and throw a house party. And I swear this party is not going to be a disaster. I'm going to try really hard to make sure that they do a lot of interacting. And before I need to look at his relationships. Okay, he's pretty close to becoming friends with both Rufus and Glenn. We're going to invite Rufus and Glenn over. Lucy's actually pretty close with becoming friends with Angela Pleasant, so we'll invite her over as well. And this also reminds me that I need to bring over her townie friends and make them into, or bring over her dormy friends and make them into townies. Let's see who we need to bring over. Horace. We're going to bring over Horace. She had the closest relationship with him. She had the same relationship with Margie. I think we'll bring both Horace and Margie over. And these two were the ones that were always constantly fighting with each other in college. So maybe I should send one of them away and then do the other one. But I'm going to do that after the dinner party. Because I just want to get that over with. And I can do that like while they're in bed or something. So we're going to, oh, now I forgot who I was going to invite over. Glenn and Rufus and Angela. Well, you know what? I'm just going to invite Horace and Margie over to the party and see if they show up since, they're, since Alexander knows them. And we're also going to invite over Alexander's brother Fabian and his sister Cassandra. And I guess he'll invite, invite over Dina too. This is going to be a big party. And he doesn't know Angela, um, so I'll just summon her over. Okay, everybody's on their way. Um, some of the guests aren't showing up. I wonder who's not going to show up. It's probably going to be the dormies, which is fine. Did nobody show up? Okay, here they all come. All right. And also it's 6 p.m. Uh, Alex is now 24 years old, and Lucy is 23. Rufus is here and Glenn is here and those are the two most important. I'm going to, oh and Fabian has to leave right away. I always invite children and I forget that they have to leave at 6 p.m. I'm going to buy them a stereo. Actually, I'm not going to buy them a stereo. I do that and then everybody just spends the whole party smussling. So I'm not going to do that. 
Alexander went upstairs, and I think he's trying to woohoo, but he's going to have to come downstairs, and they're going to have to do that later. <laughs> come downstairs and greet your guests. Let's talk to this guy, and then talk to this guy. So since this is what they like to do at parties, just talk and hang out, I guess that's what I'm going to have them do. Oh wow, he was just talking to Rufus, and Rufus says, Turns out I'm your boss's cousin, and I'm phoning in a favor he owes me. Next time you go to work, Alexander, you'll be getting a promotion. Wow! So he doesn't even have to make the two friends, and he's going to get a promotion. Thank you, Rufus. Well, it took a little while, but Alexander became friends with Glenn Foster. He wants to pull a prank on him. <laughs> have a pillow fight with him. Alright, let's have a pillow fight then. And everybody's watching, well, they were watching sports, but everybody's watching TV. Lucy's over here charming everybody, and they're actually having a good time. I think not having the stereo was a really good idea. I usually do that for every party, and I think that's why my parties are all disasters. Oh, wow, Lucy just networked with Horace. It says, hey, I heard you're working in the oceanography career, small world. I know a few friends that work in the oceanography career. And I'm going to let them know that you're the real deal. Lucy, you deserve higher wages in that career track. Yes, so she's getting a raise now. I don't know what her wages were before. Or if she has to go to work to get her raise. But anyway, she's going to get higher wages. Alexander and Glenn are beating each other with pillows. He really needs to go talk to uh, Rufus, though. They're close to becoming friends, and he's going to need another friend for to get another promotion. So, and he still now he wants to get another friend as well. He also wants to hustle pool, but getting a friend is more important. So I'm going to lock that in. Okay, Lucy and Alexander are leaving the party to go upstairs. <laughs> Woohoo! They're both going upstairs to relax. They're just leaving everybody down here. They just cannot stand it anymore. There's only a minute and 50 seconds of their party left, so I'm just going to let them do it. They're like, sorry guys, excuse us for a moment. We have to go upstairs and woohoo. Have fun eating our chips and watching our TV. <laughs> so weird. But I think this is one of the better parties I've had, definitely. From now on, I'm taking the stereo out when there's a party so that they'll actually talk to each other. And if they watch TV together and talk to each other, that seems to help, too. Okay, Dina. Probably need... Oh my gosh, Dina and, Ella and Cassandra are in their bedroom. <laughs> Dina's just standing there with her lazy slump. And Cassandra's sitting in their bedroom chair. You guys should probably get out of here. Well, I'll just let them... I don't know. Are they going to woohoo? They're going to woohoo, and Alexander's sister is just standing at the foot of their bed. Yeah, get out, please. Get out of here, Dina. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, Alexander came. Oh, they're coming in here because of this door. Because of this door. I hate how there's like 30 doors to every bathroom in the Maxis houses. Okay, uh, we hosted a terrific party. The guests had a fantastic time. Final party score, good time. Finally, we had a good party. Lucy's just going to have some dinner and then she's going to go to bed. Alexander's already passed out. Um, they casual woohoo. They didn't get a chance to try for baby. If there's time in the morning, I'll have them do that before they go to work. Lucy has to be at work at 8. Alexander doesn't have to be at work until 10. So we can probably squeeze that in, depending on how long she sleeps. Mm. It's 5.30 a.m. Lucy and Alexander are fully rested. We're going to have them try for baby before they start getting ready for work. And Lucy's had a, a great week. And after they try for baby, then we're going to teleport over the dormies. Lucy has to go to work in an hour, so we've got to get this show on the road. Okay. They've tried for baby. Let me see what Lucy needs. She needs to take a shower. And Alexander is going to be the one who teleports over the dormies. We're going to teleport over Margie and Horace. 
Margie's here. We're going to start with her. We're going to age her up to an adult. Don't leave, Margie. Get back here. Okay, Lucy didn't get a chance to take a shower, so she's going to be stinky at work. Okay, here goes Margie, aging up to an adult. Wow, she looks like Mary Sue. She has the exact same dress and hairstyle as Mary Sue Pleasant. But she has brown hair, and obviously her facial features are different, but that's kind of interesting. She's much cuter now that she doesn't have that sundress on. And I did a default replacement of that sundress, but I don't think it replaced the young adult version. And I think that might be what happened with that hideous sweater. So our next step is we want to change her into a townie. So we're going to move her in. Or maybe it automatically changes her into a townie when I age her up. I don't know. I just tried to move her in and then she automatically moved out. And now I don't have the option to move her in. So maybe she's already a townie. All right, Margie is gone. I had to save the lot and go back out to the neighborhood view and then come back in. And now she's gone. She is a townie. And we're going to do the same thing for Horace. Wow, Horace looks super cute as an adult. This is another default replacement outfit. And it was for some horrible outfit, too. I, I think it was a kilt. So he would have aged up in a kilt. But now he looks super cute. Um, and he's an adult now. We're just going to make him a townie, and we are good to go. I got a chance card for Lucy while she was at work today. It says, while doing her daily routine, Lucy comes across an especially strange dolphin. It nuzzles up to her and quickly seems to form a friendship. It then swims to the cage entrance, which leads to the ocean, and gently bumps its head on the glass. It seems to want to be free. Should Lucy obey its wishes or keep it in? Well, Lucy's a very responsible sim. I think she would not let it out just because she doesn't want to lose her job and get in trouble. She got a promotion <laughs> for saving the dolphin. Uh, she doesn't take orders from dolphins, even clever charming ones. She refuses to let the dolphin go. He continues to bump its head against the gate. Lucy senses something is wrong, calls the medic who treats the dolphin, and thanks Lucy for the diagnosis. All right, she was going to get a promotion anyway from her networking, but that's cool too. She got to come home early. And she brought a friend home, Bryce Robertson. She is hungry and stinky, and I don't know if she has time to hang out with Bryce, but we'll let him come in. Uh, now she's been promoted to sea lice research assistant. <laughs> she works 9 a.m. to 4, and she brought home 236 simoleons and a bonus of 472. Oh, they got a nice little chunk of money here uh, in cash. We're going to go take care of her needs. Yeah, she's real proud of herself again. <laughs> I love it when they do that with her stink cloud coming off of her. Well, guys, I think we might have a pregnancy. Lucy was having lunch with her friend Bryce here, and she just ran into the bathroom to puke. Um, I kind of missed her puking, but she totally did. She didn't get the thought bubble above her head that she thinks she's pregnant, but she just ate a sandwich, and it, like, didn't fill her hunger up at all, and she puked. So I'm pretty sure she's pregnant. Gonna have her go eat another sandwich. She really stinks, too. We gotta take care of that. Well, Bryce wants to give her an earthy hug. This is one of the outfits that I didn't default replace. I think it's the same outfit that Darren Dreamer wears. But I wanted to keep some outfits. I mean, not every sim is gonna be super stylish, you know? I wanted to keep some. Like, this is like a dad outfit with his khakis and his sneakers. So some sims I feel like would dress like that. And Alexander just got home. He's been promoted to Architect's Apprentice. He is just shooting up the architecture career ladder. Um, construction is for chumps. You've made it inside the walls of the architecture firm, standing beside your mentor who's going to teach you everything you need to know about how to design beautiful, beautiful buildings. Oh, and can you get him some coffee? <laughs> so he now works from 9 a.m. to 4, and he brought home a bonus of 1,300 simoleons and 533. And he makes 420 simoleons a day now, which is pretty good. He needs to make two more friends 
though, in order to get promoted again. And he wants to make a friend, so we're going to work on that. He also wants to now earn 10,000 simoleons. He's, like, constantly in platinum because he keeps earning all this money. It's great for him. Now I'm going to have him go in here and invest some more money. I call it investing, but it's really depositing. But they get so much interest, it's basically investing. He's going to pay the bills first and then deposit. Um, let's deposit 2000 and he's got 15400 in his bank account. That is really nice. And he's going to go clean up the messes that Lucy left. And Bryce is going to go outside and sniff some flowers in their front yard. That's not weird at all, Bryce. All right, Lucy. Uh, I'm going to let her go to sleep. And hopefully she'll be getting her baby bump soon. I don't know if we're going to quite be able to see the baby born. It's 6 p.m. on Thursday and Alex is 25 and Lucy is now 24 years old. I'm really surprised she hasn't rolled the want to get married to Alexander. They've just been living together and usually family sims want to get married. Alex no longer wants to marry a rich sim either so I guess he changed his mind about that and decided he wanted to stay with Lucy who is his true love. They have two bolts together, which is pretty good, um, but they've always been together, which I like. There's no, probably not going to be very much drama in this relationship. This is going to be just a big old happy family. They're going to have at least three kids, um, probably because Lucy has the want to graduate three children, and that's an easy want to fulfill. Oh, it is Friday at 7.43 a.m., and Lucy just made some breakfast, put it down on the floor, and she's getting her baby bump. Yay! I'm so excited. So that means the baby should be born by Saturday at 7.45 a.m. Technically, we're only playing this family till Friday at 6 p.m., but as long as we stop playing them before Saturday at 6 p.m., we're good. So I'll probably pay play her until Saturday morning until the baby is born. So I cannot believe it. Alexander and Lucy are going to have a baby this round. And, you know, this is technically their second round, um, but I have to play them to sync all their ages. So the next time we play them, we're only going to play them for two days so that everybody's ages stay the same. Um, but we will have a baby. It's Friday at 6 p.m. That means Alexander is 26 and Lucy is 25. I feel like Lucy should have gotten her baby bump by now with the mod. I'm going to wake her. Oops. I'm going to wake her up. She should have gotten her second baby bump if she's supposed to get one every eight hours. So I'm kind of afraid the mod's not working. She definitely, I don't think, has gotten her second bump. Okay, so it's Saturday at 8.45 a.m. Lucy just called me over, and she's getting her second baby bump. She's not giving birth. So it looks like the shorter pregnancy mod is not working for me. I'll have to look into that and figure out why. But I can't play this family anymore, unfortunately, or their ages will get out of sync. So that's going to be it for Lucy and Alexander. And the next time we play them, we will have a baby born. So that's exciting. So many babies being born next round. So that's it for Alexander and Lucy. Um, we actually played them for five days. And normally I wouldn't play Sims that long after college. But their ages were so, they were so much older than Bo. And Bo was just like this outlier that didn't really fit in either generation so we had to play them for a long time in order to catch Bo up. So that's going to be it for this episode. Well that's it for Lucy and Alexander. Um, I actually ended up playing them for five full days after they got out of college. Normally I wouldn't play Sims that long after college but because their ages they are so much older than Bo who also attended college at this in the same generation we had to play them for a while to get their ages right. Um, that means in the next round we'll only play them for two days but we'll have a baby born so it'll be really exciting. Um, in part two of this episode, we are going to be playing Deborah to get her age in sync with Bo, and then we will move Bo back into Pleasant View. I really appreciate you watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload new videos. 
You can also visit my blog at PleasantSims.com if you're interested in my gameplay rules, any of the mods I use, or if you want to see my sim profiles and family trees. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you with part two of this episode very soon.